Oh, yeah, and it's such an inspirational story, you guys. And it was extra special having the former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords here. And she talked about her emotional journey of recovery and using her voice to end gun violence. Congresswoman Giffords was the target of the mass shooting. I have just come from the University Medical Center where our friend Gabby courageously fights to recover. A 2011 assassination attempt on Arizona Congresswoman Gabby Giffords during a meet and greet with constituents left her partially paralyzed on her right side and suffering from aphasia, making it difficult to speak and understand language. She's beginning several months of rehab. Give me two fingers. All right. Give me five. January 8th, 2011 changed my life forever. I was a congresswoman. I was shot in my head while meeting with my constituents. It's now been 11 years since the shooting that left six people dead and injured several others. And Giffords has made incredible strides with the help of her astronaut turned senator husband, Mark Kelly. After the shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School, I've said enough is enough. I founded a group called Giffords. We are on a mission to end gun violence. Giffords addressed a crowd in Century City Wednesday night where there was a screening of a documentary called Gabby Giffords Won't Back Down. I'm relearning so many things, how to walk, how to talk, and I'm fighting to make the country safer. Last month, after years of trying, Giffords, with the help of others, got new gun safety legislation passed, which includes universal background checks for 18 through 21 year olds. I've learned when people care for each other and work together, progress is possible, a better world is possible. Hmm. And Gabby Giffords Won't Back Down is now playing in theaters. For now, reporting live here in Century City, Mary Beth McDade will send it back to you guys in the studio.